everybody, so I'm doing a sketchbook update, but this is all the drawings from Inktober, uh, which I had an awesome time doing. Uh, I feel like I, I gained some knowledge with inks and stuff like that, and uh, just had a great time, drew some interesting stuff. So I'm, right now I'm going to go through every single drawing from Inktober. I think there's a few in here that are maybe a week or so before that as well. But anyway, uh, it's a 50 page sketchbook that is completely full, so let's get started. So this first sketch is just sketchbook page of some faces. Uh, here's the first kind of ink drawing, and I'm going to show you, I use this for most of the ink sketches. And a lot of the ink sketches, this one um, was done with uh, pencil sketch first. Uh, and then I did all the details and stuff like that in ink. And this is just kind of a funny little dog guy. Uh, these are sketches of uh, just ink. There's no pencil work. So all these are just kind of figure studies um, looking at. Uh, so I reference some of these like this one and stuff like that. But it's just using the ink pen. So there's no pencil. I didn't use any pencil to sketch these out beforehand. Uh, same with these, um, no pencil, I just start doodling and these are the kind of things that I create with just the ink pen. I love this brush, these brush pens because you can get super fine and then really thick as well. This one's actually out of ink. Um, this one's a similar one, same kind of brush pen. That's this right here. And these have like refillable cartridges. Uh, in the back and so you can just have a bunch of little cartridges and then refill them which is really nice when you're on the go so again you can get real tiny with this one and then real thick as well so that's why I like these a lot they're just fun to to ink with I think and this is a mech girl this one I think turned out pretty cool. I've done a few of these in the past and I like doing them because they kind of like, I definitely see improvement in my drawings when I look at these. This is kind of a random guy. I think this one is more of a, um, like a bad guy idea that I was doing when I was doing comic book ideas uh, for this character. And this is one of the concepts for like uh, one of the bad guys. This one had pencil sketching before I did the ink. Here's some random ink sketch page for one of the days. She's kind of interesting looking. Uh, this is the comic book character that I was working on. He's kind of holding this dude up in the air. He's kind of like a Superman type character. Um, I don't know if I like him that much to where I'd make him my main character, but this was the character I was focusing a lot on. Uh, turned out pretty cool. I like his expression. I like that you're lower. Um, and just kind of a fun drawing, just to kind of develop ideas. One thing I would change uh, if I were drawing him, um, you know, you always want to plan out your characters. I wouldn't do the, I don't like the abs, the way they look. I would do more of just like a suit. It's so where there's not as uh, tight to the body, just preference wise. But on this, I didn't. Realized I didn't like it after I did it. So, uh, this is some pencil sketches, just messing around. Uh, this is, I think this might be actually the start of the Inktober sketches that were actually in the month. So, this was kind of just like this goblin guy and kind of like a forest girl and these little really thin pin. Uh, drawings were kind of stuff I did afterwards, but this was kind of the pen and ink focal point. I worked on some texture for the hair. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit closer so you can kind of get a better view of it. I like this guy. I really, I actually really like this um, drawing a lot anyway. Uh, I feel like it's very natural. Both poses. His is just kind of creepy, uh, but he's, he's got a unique little body going on there. You know, I love Tom Petty. Loved his music, listened to it all the time. This was kind of like a Tom Petty sketch, just on a whim. 
uh, looked at a picture for this one, just sketched it with ink. I didn't actually sketch this one out with pencil first, so this is all just first pass, uh, which is kind of nerve wracking because if you make it, if you do anything wrong, you can't really fix it. There's no erasing. So it's very final, final, you know, make, make sure you, you're really confident in the lines you make. So I actually really like this. This is more artistic approach um, as far as how I did everything. So this is one day and this is another day for Inktober. So here is kind of like a, a robot guy and uh, this kind of creepy robot girl, kind of like cyborgs. Again, these are no, was this no pencil? Yeah, no pencil on the, uh, on either one of these, so just ink. I tried to stick with that for Inktober from most, most of the stuff I did, so there was no pencil work, just all first pass ink, um, which I felt like by doing this, um, again, I had to be very confident in the line work and everything, so uh, I was surprised at how kind of well things turned out when I couldn't erase, so... Uh, again, this is kind of similar thing. This was a day, Poison Ivy, and I went with the Batman theme for the middle part of Inktober, and I didn't go with any of the themes for Inktober, in case you were wondering. I just kind of did what I wanted to do. So, uh, this is Poison Ivy, which I really like the way this turned out. This, again, is first pass, no pencil, no erasing. So, all this is kind of just, yeah. And I was really surprised at how well that one turned out. Uh, same thing here, same thing with these. These are just kind of like Harley Quinn sketch ideas. Uh, and I did those one day. And then I didn't like necessarily how his face turned out. And I think it's where his chin and jawline is. It doesn't recede enough right there. But Robin's all, it was funny. Once I, I started this one, I was like, oh, how many ways can I kill Robin? So he's like busted in half right here in case you can't tell. So here are more Batman villains. Um, this is Killer Croc and again these are no pencil so only ink and Killer Croc's got Robin's mask in his teeth because he just probably ate him. Uh, and this one is Scarecrow and this one was kind of funny because I was like you know how did he, I asked how he killed him and basically he used his his fear stuff on him and Robin was so scared he scratched out his own eyeballs so that one was kind of morbid uh, but yeah I felt like again like things like you know not using um, pencil on some of this stuff like his hand but still getting it to look the way I wanted natural his mask stuff like that uh, I felt like I did a pretty good job foreshortening on this arm and having him hold one of those things, I felt like this was kind of just one of those things where I was, you know, testing, testing what I could do, I guess. On this page, the one I actually spent the most time on is this alien right here, uh, which I felt like was pretty cool. Was, uh, the face was unique, it kind of has these slots that look like eyes, but maybe they're not. Um, the form was really good, I thought just kind of fun poofy legs kind of just weird weird creature thing and everything on this page uh, I didn't use pencil for any of this stuff so this is all just sketching uh, with ink and this was just a page where I haven't done this in a long time where I just move from one thing to another just kind of sketching stuff out uh, but doing it with ink uh, was a lot of fun um, just I don't know. It's something about it is different than using a pencil. Uh, like I said, the lines are so, I mean, you have to be confident kind of with what you're doing because, um, you know, each line matters so much. You can't erase it, so you just got to live with it. A lot of that, though, is uh, just also fixing the mistakes you make rather than erasing them. Just trying to turn it into something, which is a fun practice too. Sometimes I'll, I'll accidentally make a line and I'll just be like, okay, well, let's re, let's turn that into something else. Let's change this character and make it, make it fit there. So all these are kind of just alien concepts. So this page is, actually we did a live drawing of this page. 
So this was just some characters, some Halloween characters. I thought this this girl right here, her face, I, uh, she looks like the girl if you guys watch Gotham. Um, I thought it kind of looked like her for some reason. She was also in, well, maybe not. Maybe I was just crazy. I don't know. Anyway, uh, a funny thing about drawing live is for some reason it's hard. Like I feel like these are some of the worst drawings I've done in a while or at least out of any of the Inktober stuff I did and like especially this guy and stuff. I think I just get so wrapped up in thinking about you know talking to you guys and the live video feed going that it distracts me um, from being all there with the drawing if that makes sense. So I'm get, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more a little bit better at it, a little bit more comfortable. Um, it's not that I'm nervous or anything, it's just I feel like I'm distracted. It's kind of hard to explain, but that was one of those pages. This was a, a really funny page, um, and I had a lot of fun doing it. I started drawing a robot girl, and I was going to do this cool, like, robot futuristic scene because I was really uh, hyped about the movie um, Blade Runner, the new Blade Runner 2049. And I started drawing her, and I'm like, ugh, this is not turning out good. And this was ink with no pencil, and I drew her hips like this, and I looked at it, and I'm like, well, she looks like she's dancing. This is really weird. So <laughs> then I started sketching some other stuff, and I'm like, well, that one looks like it's dancing, so I decided to do a robot, like, dance party out of it, and I just started adding all these, like, girls and figures and at different sizes, like, this is a giant girl here in the background, and she's swinging this one uh, that's not really a completed robot. It's, like, half her rib cage and stuff, and... You know, and then you got these tiny little ones dancing in the front, and this one's all happy and her head's on the floor. It was just a really fun, spontaneous, really spontaneous is the word, uh, drawing that I felt, I don't know, I had a lot of fun drawing, so thing, uh, things like this are very entertaining. Uh, this was a sketch page, sketching figures, things like that, uh, just ink. This one wasn't super successful. Some of these, you know, I was just seeing how figure drawing and stuff like that would work um, with just ink, which I've definitely gotten better at it uh, due to all the practice over the years and stuff, so. Uh, this is a one I spent a little bit more time on. This one was pencil drawn before I used the ink, so I did a sketch of it first, and this kind of, I was inspired a little bit for like a dinosaur, uh, Savage Land type illustration. I loved her hair. I love her face. Uh, this is a one of my more successful drawings I've done in a while. Her um, her pose I really like. It's very natural. It just it just it has a good feeling about it. Um, the whole thing. I like the dinosaur dog thing she's riding on the back of. Uh, just a successful drawing for me. Got to have these every now and again to build your self esteem, I guess. <laughs> this was another live video drawing. Uh, again, it's just, I just didn't like this drawing very much. It's very actually old school comic book style, I felt like. But it was like, uh, we were drawing uh, The Incredible Hulk, and I sketched this out even beforehand, but I swear my other drawings where I didn't use pencil to sketch it out turned out better than this one. Um, I don't like his face, I hate his hair. But it's got a little bit of character to it, I guess. But anyway, again, it was one of those things where I find it hard to focus when I'm doing live drawings. Uh, but, you know, hopefully I get better. Not too bad, though. This is a Halloween kind of inspired one. Uh, I feel like it turned out pretty good. This little guy, uh, kind of maybe her pet or something like that. I wasn't quite sure if it was her pet or if she had just killed the thing. It was all hunched over through a little evil pumpkin in there. But I like the figure. Uh, she's more of a natural figure. Uh, you know, reasonable hips, that kind of thing. I like my figures to look a little bit more natural, especially on females um, versus, you know, the stick thin or unrealistic Barbie figures, stuff like that. So this is a kind of I don't know why I was inspired to do this, but this is a just a random dude, like maybe in a sci-fi movie, like an Aliens uh, idea is what I was thinking here, and this monster is about to 
bite off his head. I really like the monster. Um, one of the things I really focused a lot on during this whole Inktober was mixing in my line widths. So you have very thin uh, textural lines and stuff like that in there. Mix them with some really thick, heavy lines. Uh, it gives me a lot of contrast. I think it adds a lot of interest to the drawing. And I felt for the most part, you know, um, I, I did a, a fair, fair job on most of that. Uh, some, some of the pens, some of the ink pens, I feel like I liked, I felt like this one I have more, a little bit more control over how thin it is. Um, so versus, where's that other one? Versus this one. I feel like the flow on this pen is a little bit heavier than this one for some reason. And so sometimes I'll, I'll get these really big, thick, dark lines when I don't intend to. So I'm going to mess around with these a little bit more, but I do feel like this one, this one right here is the one I like a little better. Just a little bit more control. Uh, another live drawing, uh, ink drawing that we all did together. Um, Batgirl, this one's a little bit different. I used a, a different pen for some of the original drawing on this one. And it's that really thin pen, uh, which I liked a lot. So I think I'm gonna work at maybe using a couple of different pens in the future versus just one brush pen. But it's okay drawing. So one of the other things when I didn't have my sketchbook with me, so that's my sketchbook drawings for Inktober, is I did, um, and you might have saw my last video where I was doing, I was showing these, some of the other ones I had done. The first one I did was the Spider-Man one. This is a cover, full comic book, but it's got art paper for the cover. And so this is a ink drawing of Spider-Man kind of flying through the city. I really like this one. This is one of my favorite ones that I've done so far. Uh, I just feel like it's really dynamic, really interesting cover. You've got this really cool like hard angle that adds so much movement. Um, and it's just, a, I feel like a really dynamic cover. I feel like you could see this as a real cover on a comic book. So I felt like this one was pretty successful. Uh, the next one I did was this Venom one. Uh, all these kind of heads like flying out everywhere. A little bit different approach to this one. I was really heavy with the dark ink on it. Um, the only thing I would have changed is I like this head quite a bit. This one, I would have sh made it more his size. Uh, I felt like it got it a little bit too big for the body. Uh, but I really liked how these little heads are kind of flying around and pulling from his body and stuff like that. It's just kind of an interesting thing. And the reason I did all that is these ones up here, these lines that go through here, those are part of the cover. So I wanted to kind of integrate those um, throughout the whole thing. On this one, I didn't do the back. Uh, it's two-parted, but I just did the, the front. Same with the Spider-Man one. Uh, that one actually only has the cover, not the back as well. Uh, but then, this last one, this was my last uh, drawing for Inktober. And this is the cover of it, Young Blood. It uh, looks like the rebooting of the series. So I remember this when I, in the 90s, when I was collecting comic books and stuff like that. And this was done by Rob Liefeld. So, um, but I feel like this one, I did the whole cover. It's a pretty dynamic cover. Uh, I'm really enjoying these. And I'm having a lot of fun just kind of mixing them in with my sketchbook days. So I'll just have these with me and I'll kind of you know, sketch on them, and then once I get a drawing or a cover I like, then I ink it in. So, and I, I feel like they turned out pretty cool. I like this one. So, I have, I'm getting quite a collection of these cover comic books, and uh, I'm getting better and better at them. So, really fun. Inktober, like I said, was a blast this year. If you guys didn't do it, it's, it's one of those things where I feel like when you're trying to learn art, uh, helps to focus on one thing at a time, at least for a certain period of time, rather than bouncing around from day to day. I feel like focusing for an entire month on one type of art or something you're interested in, whether it be anatomy, uh, comic book characters, or drawing super realistic, um, if you just focus on that one thing for a while, I feel like you'll you'll gain a lot more ground uh, versus like doing pencils one day and then ink another day and something like that uh, stuff like that. I feel like just focusing on ink for me has, I don't know, it's been 
uh, I feel like I've gained some ground, I guess. So, especially on these covers, I feel like they're turning out a lot better than some of the first ones I did. Uh, the Superman one, uh, that's somewhere around here. These ones turned out a million times better than that. So, at least I feel like I'm getting better at it. But, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. That's my Inktober, the entire month of inking for me. Uh, and yeah, I've been doing, if you guys haven't seen the three live videos we've done, it's this similar format. I just, it's live. I use my phone to film it and a lot of times my wife and my daughter Elena uh, sit here with me and we all just pick a theme for the day and draw. And that's what we do anyway. We're just filming it now. So we have, we call them art parties um, because I like to draw, my wife likes to draw, and my daughter Elena likes to draw. Uh, also my youngest daughter likes to draw, but she's a little too young. A lot of times we film when she's napping because she's a handful, so I don't think we could sit still long enough to film and <laughs> draw and watch her at the same time. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I will catch you later.